Hey, I want to go a little off base other than cars here for a second. Uh, this is going to be a totally different video, obviously. I'm not a bike owner. I haven't owned a bike since, wow, when I was in high school, way, way back in the 80s. I do mean early 80s. But uh, my brother comes across some crazy stuff sometimes in his uh, adventures out there. He's He's a small engine repair guy. He does lawnmowers. He also does great big tractors and other things. He's really, really good at what he does. And he's always fixed my lawnmowers anytime I've ever had a problem. And he knows exactly what's wrong with them. But anyway, he went out uh, about 20 miles from here to pick up a couple lawnmowers and stuff. And this was sitting in the barn with the lawnmowers. It's a Kawasaki 175. It's a 1975. And the guy he got it from said, hey, you want to buy a bike? My brother's like, I do not want a bike. I have no use for a bike. I don't need a bike. I don't want anything to do with the bike. And after he got the lawnmowers loaded up, the guy kept basically going on and on about, he really needs the bike. He needs to buy the bike. He wants the bike gone. And my brother's like, I don't want the bike. Well, somehow the guy talked him into taking the bike. And my brother's like, oh, I don't want to do it, this thing. And he had shown it on uh, his Facebook page saying that, hey, I got this motorcycle. And me, being kind of quirky, said, hey, I want that bike. I got to have that bike. And he said, well, he doesn't know if it runs. The guy said he bought it brand new, 1975. And the guy signed the title. I have the title to it. But... The guy said, I can't remember if he said 10 years or 20 years ago, he rode it into his barn and lost his keys. Cannot find the keys to this thing. So it just sit in the barn for the last 10 to 20 years. And my brother's like, well, 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 does it move? I mean, can you move the handles? Yes, you can move the handles and stuff. It isn't lock lock. So I ended up buying it from my brother, which... My wife says, what are you going to do with it? I said, well, I'm going to ride it. What do you think you do with bikes? You know, as a joke. But uh, I have a locksmith coming here in a few days. He's going to make me a key for the bike. I, I think it's worth putting a little money into it just to see if it runs. I went ahead and kicked it. It has a lot of compression, a lot of compression. And last license plate on it was 1982. And that's the year I graduated. And my brother's like, oh, I don't know what you're going to do with that. I'm going to fix it up. I'm going to get it running. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I'll just ride it up and down my driveway to get my mail in back. I don't know. I, I, it's just cool. I think it's cool. I said, it's probably not worth a lot of money. But it's really cool. And I said, if I don't um, fix it up, make it pretty which I'd like to try, you know, hell, who knows? Maybe it'd be a pretty cool bike fixed up. I said, I think I'll put it on my wall as wall art, you know, along with my hoods. I'll just get some steel brackets, weld some stuff up, and I'll hang it up there on the wall, you know? And some people said, that's stupid. And others said, oh, that'd look really cool you do that. That's, that's pretty cool. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm definitely gonna get a key made for it, and we're gonna see if this thing runs. Uh, the guy drained the gas tank. There's nothing in it. So I think we're good there. The oil tank appears to be empty. So I think that's good. But, yeah, I just thought I'd throw that in there in case any of you guys out there are like, I ain't got a motorcycle. <laughs> Some of you go, oh, it's a dirt bike. But it's pretty cool. And I'll leave it at that. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Later.